Hello, this is Brian. I'm here in the San Bernardino Mountains, and this is another episode of trees. I'm a big fan of trees. I love hiking and getting to see different species. I'm very interested in trees and shrubs and plants in general. But some plants and some trees stick out for me more than others. And up here in the San Bernardino National Forest, in the San Bernardino Mountains, I'm just above the town of Angeles Oaks, near Highway 38. I'm about an elevation of about 5,900 feet right now. And here we have one of the standout species of the trees, the sugar pine, Pinus Lambertiana. It is probably... Mm, I would say definitely the tallest species of pine here in Southern California. Ponderosa pine, Pinus ponderosa, variety Pacifica, or sometimes some, some botanists consider it subspecies Benthamiana, is a very close contender and they can get quite large as well. Now, this tree here, the sugar pine, is a very, very common tree here, especially above 5,000 feet especially so above 6,000 feet. Well, we're almost there right now. But one thing you'll uh, see about the sugar pine is its tall stature and its very charismatic branching patterns. See, this one right here, the branches just, just kind of whip out. And sometimes they whip out really far from the trunk. And it looks quite interesting to see. Now, the sugar pine is in the white pine group. So people viewing from the East Coast who are familiar with Pinistrobus, which is the Eastern White Pine, will see a lot of familiarity in the charismatic branching. Only the difference is a sugar pine takes it to a much higher level of crazy branching. Um, whereas uh, what Eastern White Pines tend to be a little more tiered. Sugar Pines are too. But sometimes the angles of their branches are just really crazy. Like this right here. See, this branch right here sticks out very far from the trunk of the tree. Um, so, the thing about the sugar pine is it doesn't have a humongous distribution. It's uh, present from parts of Oregon down to southern Baja, California. I believe it might enter the state of Nevada around, around Lake Tahoe, I believe. But in Nevada, if it is in Nevada, it would be there in a very limited distribution anyways. But here I see quite a few young sugar pines here. People who, people who can see them right here tend to be a little bit, a little bit upright when they're younger. And then, then they start developing their tiered branches when they get a little bit older. And then when they get a lot older, their branches will come out pretty far. Um, the sugar pine is one of the most common trees in the Sierra Nevada um, as it is one of the more common trees here in Southern California uh, and you can find it as far south as the Sierra de San Pedro Martir which is a mountain range in northern Baja California see with the sugar pine they tend to like more north facing exposures and that's where they reach their, their <laughs> They're quite large stature. These guys here are maybe about 100. This one, younger one here, is maybe about 100 feet. The other ones are probably about 130. I've seen them here in Southern California, close to 160, maybe even about 180 feet. There are some large specimens here in the San Bernardino Mountains, and there's some quite large ones in the San Gabriels, which is our mountain range to the northwest of here. Um, Sugar pines in the Sierras commonly top out over 200 feet. And like I said before, the only other tree that comes really close to competing in, in size and height is the ponderosa. And we do have ponderosas here in the San Bernardinos as well. I believe these are Jeffrey pines here, Pinus Jeffrey. So I haven't seen anything that looks like a ponderosa. And I've seen a few coulter pines. This pin is coulter seen a couple of them, but coulter pines are generally 
significantly shorter in size than Jeffrey's and especially Sugar's. Um, here's a young sugar pine right here, right next to a, a white fir. It's a young sugar pine. It's that very vigorous white pine stature. White pines tend to have a very vigorous appearance when they're younger, and sugar pine is no different. I said, in the Sierras, you, that's where they tend to reach their some of their largest sizes. Much more rainfall, much more snowfall, so more moisture means generally much larger trees. But if you come here to Southern California, don't count them out. They can get quite large here too. And they are basically our tallest species of tree here in Southern California. And I'm talking about south of uh, Tulare County. I'm talking about Kern County, south. Being specific, more specific. So, I'm going to end out on a note of serenity. It's beautiful here. And I very highly suggest coming up to our local mountains and checking out Penis Lambertiana, the sugar pine, among many other species of beautiful pines here in Southern California. <laughs>